the, the uh, walking the bear song. Come on, we're so
nice coffee? Yeah. Let's do the uh, cowgirl song. You remember all that stuff we played yes. over there? Uh,
welcome. We're slowly waking up to like a good time in like that. Let's do What do you think? Yeah. I'm afraid we're going to get out the. Put We're very friendly. We like to say hi to everybody. Two ways, two. Low, low, you know, nutritious and low alcohol. All the other little recipes on tap. Good morning, Brian. How's it going? Are you ready for the snow? I'm ready for it, too. I'm going to go sledding. Not the big hill, big hill, mountain hill. We're going to go sledding. We don't have a sled. We're going to put a trash can lid. And we're going to go real fast. Trash can lids for the win. I have this idea that you could take an Ikea bag. Right? Because Ikea bags, you could fit a human in. And then you could put like a piece of cardboard inside and then grease up the bottom of the Ikea bag. And if the little person is just the right length, they could just extend their legs and it would create like the, the stiffness you need. I haven't tried this yet, but you can make treasure. <laughs> it's like it was sledding in. She's probably too big. Yeah. Thank you. 
Let's do our uh, South Side train, train song.
Chebarashka's creator called Chebarashka an animal unknown to science. And I don't know if you can tell, but Ch Chebarashka is gender ambiguous. And I'm collecting money. I talked to Chebarashka. You see, he has a pink sweater on. Chebarashka would like to try leather. Ooh. So I, any money you give today to Chebarashka, I'm going to get him a little leather jacket. There's all kinds of outfits for Chebarashka. <laughs> Chebarashka would like to try out some leather, so please help us. Chev, I don't know if you're old enough for that. Thank you. This song is called Our Friend, Chebarashka.
Hey, Ron, you look really fancy today, Ron. Oh, what's, what's, what's happening with your tie? Can I see it? Can I, I don't have my glasses. For, uh, at Breakfast Cabaret, we every week we do a, what's called a, a fashion prom. It's amazing, the Cosmos is the prom. fanciest thing. One of the Last week's fashion prom was fancy, and Ron couldn't make it, so he said, please make it fancy again. So it's fancy part two. Make, make, America, fancy. make America fancy again. <laughs> you like that? This is like... Yes, I never, I, I don't, I don't wear this suit as much as I should. But it's, it's, a, it's a different world when ladies wear men's clothes, you know? It's like when men wear ladies' clothes, it kind of becomes a different, different place. You know, sometimes I perform in drag, and sometimes I just go out in drag, and I put on a little mustache and everything, because it's, you know, it's nice. And the world treats you very differently. I remember one time I had, like, I'd done my hair up in a wig, and I put a really nice mustache and beard on. I mean, it was looking fresh. And I even, like, hid these guys. And, man, they looked at me like I was nuts. It was pretty wild. I was like, do you know that I'm also a lady? And everybody was looking at me like this. Men have it hard. <laughs> It's kind of tough. Tell me about it. Men, do you, do you feel that way when other men look at you? Do you look like, do you, th do you feel like men are not looking at you like, like, they love you? <laughs> this is a really difficult question. <laughs> I know men are not supposed to talk about feelings, but... <laughs> Alright, we won't go all day. We'll stick to music today. We're going to remember on Sunday, but you, um... I forget the name. I remember on Sunday. It's all about following the directions. It's never like that. I like it fast.
We're going to get a volunteer. And then I'd like to do uh, uh, Rooster Mouth. Because he probably sent me a Rooster Mouth. So we're going to do the, uh... No. Does anybody, do we want to see if... Yeah. If we can. We need a volunteer. We need a volunteer. <laughs> Should we tell them what it's for? Uh, dramatic reading. Anybody want to do... Okay, great. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I like enthusiasm. All right, I'm going to hang out here with you. But okay, what? What we're going to do is a, is a Yiddish theater song, and a Yiddish theater and vaudeville in uh, New York kind of uh, overlap, but, but uh, in Yiddish theater they were full-length plays, in vaudeville there was lots of variety. <laughs> and uh, so both vaudeville, uh, actually... Uh, Twyla and I went to a workshop on vaudeville, and one thing we learned was most of the people that went to vaudeville were women. Vaudeville was open all the time. You could walk in and out any time of the day, and there'd be something going on. And a lot of what happened at vaudeville was soap operas. It was very uh, melodramatic skits and songs. And so most people associate vaudeville with burlesque, but that's not what it was all about. And uh, so we're going to give you a little some of that uh, some of that melodrama from vaudeville and Yiddish theater right now. And so you're going. Can you handle that? Good. Okay. Is okay. <laughs> so he's going to do a dramatic reading, and then we're going to do a song. This is a well. Uh, the background is that this is a about a. A, a poor girl who's destitute, boy, boy, boy. Yeah. who's destitute and, and selling cigarettes on the street. Streets hungry and ragged, wet from the rain, I schlep around from dawn. Nobody gives me any earnings. Everyone laughs and makes fun of me. Buy my cigarettes, dry ones, not wet from the rain. Buy real cheap. Come by and have pity on me. Save me from hunger now. Buy my matches, wonderful ones, the best. And with that, you will uplift an orphan. My screaming and my running will be for naught. Nobody wants to buy from me. I will have to perish like a dog. My father lost his hands in the war. My mother couldn't bear her troubles anymore and was driven to her grave at a young age. I was left on this earth unhappy and alone like a stone. I gather crumbs to eat in the cold market. A hard bench in the cold park is my bed. And on top of that, the police, the police, they beat me with the edges of their swords and sticks. My pleas and my cries are of no use. I had a little sister, a child of nature. Together we slept around for an entire year. When with her, it was much easier for me. My hunger weakened when I glanced at her. Suddenly she became weak and sick, died in my arms on the street bench. When I lost her, I lost everything. Let death come already for me, too.
<laughs> Was that melodramatic enough for you?
We did washing in the clouds. Let's let's go over that system. Yeah, yeah. Schmaltzy waltzy. Coming through with a spider. Spider. Oh, put him outside. Yeah, put him outside the snow. With his, with his cigarette boy. <laughs> the spiders are going to sell cigarettes now. <laughs> spiders are made of antifreeze. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Sorry. Spider. Oh. Oh. Screen time. <laughs> than a performance. So have a great weekend. Enjoy the snow. Wee! <laughs>
Y'all have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye now. Is you okay? Yeah. <laughs>